So you realize all of these anti-CRT bills are really about the teaching that is or isn't taking place in schools with students that are predominantly white rather than schools with students that are predominantly black or brown. Because the reality is the folks proposing and passing these bills into laws, they don't much care about what's going on in student populations that are black and brown. They probably don't send their kids to school there. They're not supporting funding for these public schools. Um, they wouldn't know what was happening in the classroom as far as what's being taught around race or racism or white supremacy. These anti-CRT bills are because they don't want white students learning about this. They don't want this teaching in predominantly white schools. They don't want it in the predominantly white public schools, much less the predominantly white Christian or private schools either. They don't want the teachers in those schools to be getting these wacky ideas about you know, how white supremacy is bad and how racism has been part of this country's operating system from the very beginning. They don't want to hear, they don't, they don't want that in their educational spaces. By there, I mean places where they are the majority. Uh, there was a new report out by Penn America that said in the first several weeks of 2022, 77 different bills, anti-CRT bills had been proposed. Um, so what I'm saying is, you know, this is running rampant, obviously. It does a huge disservice to all students because we've never adequately taught the history of racism in this country. But there is a special effort to make sure that white students never learn this accurate history, certainly not when they're young. Um, so I just wanted to share that thought with you. There's more to it, but uh, I think that's pretty important for us to realize. It's about white kids more than black and brown kids, as it almost always is when it comes to these power plays.